Spinosaurid teeth were first uncovered in England during the 1820 years but were mistakenly identified as belonging to crocodiles. It wasn't until almost a century later that Spinosaurus aegyptiacus was discovered and recognized as a dinosaur, and another hundred years would pass before significant insights into its anatomy emerged. The first fossils of Spinosaurus were unearthed in Egypt in the 1910 years, revealing a puzzling theropod with crocodile-like teeth, an unusual lower jaw, and elongated neural spines, suggesting the presence of a large sail. These few skeletal fragments painted an enigmatic picture of a large, strange dinosaur. Some additional pieces were found in the 1930 years, but overall, Spinosaurus remained poorly understood. During World War II, the original fossils, housed in Munich's Paleontological Museum, were destroyed in a bombing raid. Only published descriptions and illustrations of the remains survived. For the next few decades, Spinosaurus was often depicted as a typical carnosaur, resembling Megalosaurus in a tripod stance, with a sail-like dimetrodon. Interestingly, a 1930 years reconstruction portrayed Spinosaurus with a longer torso and shorter legs than expected, details that align more with modern interpretations, despite its outdated posture. By the Aigtais, partial snout bones from Niger were recognized as similar to Spinosaurus, and the discovery of the fairly complete skeleton of Baryonyx helped shape a clearer understanding of Spinosaurids. By the mid-90s, more finds led to the reconstruction of Spinosaurus as a dinosaur with a crocodile-like snout, a bony crest in front of its eyes, an S-curved neck, and large thumb claws. This interpretation became widely popularized in Jurassic Park 3 in the early 2000 years, portraying Spinosaurus as a fearsome superpredator larger than Tyrannosaurus. Despite continued efforts to find more complete Spinosaurus remains, only fragments surfaced until 2014, when the most complete skeleton to date was discovered in the Kem Kem fossil beds in Morocco. This partial skeleton included fragments of the skull, hand, leg, pelvis, sail spines, and vertebrae from the neck, back, and tail. These discoveries revealed something unexpected, Spinosaurus had a much longer torso, short legs, and an M-shaped sail on its back. Its feet were adapted for muddy terrain and may have been webbed, hinting at a semi-aquatic lifestyle. The idea that Spinosaurus might have been quadrupedal was briefly revived due to its forward center of mass. With its long snout and conical teeth, this evidence suggested Spinosaurus was a fish-eating predator, possibly the first known semi-aquatic non-avian dinosaur. Spinosaurids were previously thought to hunt fish like grizzly bears, wading in water, but the unusual body proportions of Spinosaurus indicated it may have been a more adept swimmer. This discovery stirred significant debate. Some paleontologists questioned whether the short legs belonged to the same individual as the rest of the skeleton. However, after further research, these proportions were generally accepted, and attention turned to understanding how aquatic Spinosaurus might have been. Isotope analysis of its teeth supported a semi-aquatic lifestyle, but studies of buoyancy suggested that while it might not have been able to dive, its center of mass was closer to its hips, indicating it could still walk bipedally. In 2020, another revelation came, the tail of Spinosaurus was discovered to be a paddle-like fin, supported by long neural spines and chevrons, resembling the tail of an eel or newt. This added further evidence to the idea of Spinosaurus being a swimmer. Our current understanding of Spinosaurus is still evolving, and future discoveries are likely to shed more light on its behavior and lifestyle. What we do know is that it lived in North Africa during the late Cretaceous, around 99 to 93 million years ago, and was one of the largest theropods, reaching lengths of about 16 meters while the exact shape and purpose of its sail remain unclear, possibilities include temperature regulation, visual display, or even a hydrodynamic function.